Hello guys and welcome back to my channel, it's Del and I'm back again today with episode 2 of season 2 of Football Manager 2015 with Real Oviedo. In the last episode we beat Sevilla Atletico 3-1 and drew with Atletico Madrid 1-1 which I'm pretty happy with, not too bad of a result at all. In this episode we are playing Jeanne and Bilbo Athletique and I'm here just before the game against Jeanne. Just want to bring your attention to a couple of emails, I haven't put them in the... Uh, saved notes email. Basically what we've done is we have signed a bunch of staff. The one I'm most excited about is Hampson here, purely because if we look at his attributes, he has got fan is it yeah, he's got fantastic judging player ability and potential. And I believe that's what we need for I might be completely wrong here, but I believe that's what we need for um judging before the game, the other players, so we can have the best uh, opposition team instructions. That's the words I'm looking for. In this game, we have reverted back to our 4 1 2 3 defensive midfielder as asymmetric, and we're play playing Severo up front again with Salvador on the left, Heavier in the middle, Saita on the right, Sene in midfield, E Rice in defensive mid, We've got Camille, Vila, McCarthy, and Calderon it at the back with Esteban again, obviously, in goal. I do realise, I'll just uh, go on about this while we go through to the game, that I've made a couple of mistakes with these transfers. We are lacking, we are very heavily stacked at the back and we're lacking in offence now. So I'm trying to amend that, but it's not going too well because not many players, not many teams want to buy our players. Which is unfortunate. But hopefully we should be able to figure something out fairly shortly. Okay. Tactical knowledge and judging player ability that we need. How about Peter Farrell? His judging player ability is amazing, but his tactical knowledge is awful. Antonio Rivas is 12 and 12. Jose Maria Rico is 12 and 13. And then Joshua Lopez is. Again, Joshua Lopez tends to have the best with his very cautious playing, man playing mentality. Oh well. Not to worry, let's continue to the team talk. Tell players to go out there and try to make an impression. This is a chance for you to impress me and win yourself a place in the competitive side. Probably the uh, best team talk to run with that. Show me why you should be in the team start match. Let's go. JN are gonna get fucked. I think is the best way to put it, really. Sene's played it forward straight to a strain. Ball. A strange ball. That would hurt. Severo played it back to Eros. Eros holding up the ball. He's. Ooh, not a bad effort. So see, it's picked. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Got a corner. Not too bad for the first minute. So see, he's whipped it across. Fallen to Sene, who's played it to Eros. Eros with a good challenge as well. Sene's on the ball, played it to heavier, heavier. So say, that's, read that. So say, it wasn't so say at all. It was Salvador. Good head from Camille as well. I'm very happy with the signing of Samuel Camille. He's looking very good, which I'm very happy with. Hoping he can continue that. Severo is taking the defence on. It's fallen to Saita. Played it across to Camille. Camille's looking for the cross. No, he's played it inside to Sene, to Heavier, to Severo, to Salvador. Salvador, Severo. Saved by whatever that keeper's name is. Paul Freixenet. I'm probably mispronouncing that awfully, so I do apologise, Paul Freixenet, if you are watching this. Cheeky Nando's whipped it across, but Montero can't get it on target. So say to here we go, redeem your free. No. Might have to change to free kick taker. Gonna have to have a look at that, see who's actually best at free kicks. So yeah, make those changes. Approaching 25 minutes. Cheeky Nando with a throw in. Good challenge from Erice. Holding up the ball, he whipped it straight to their defender. Fantastic Erice, well done. I know crossing isn't your strong point, but I'd expect you at least to get it to the right colour. Severo's played it all the way across to Calderon, who's played it forward to Sosaito, who's whipped it across. Heavier. Bit of a fumbled goal. Oh, it's an own goal from a strained ball. What a shame. Look at that guy's name, Paul Franks in it. Incredible. Oh well, let's carry on. 1-0. Nope. 
I would have given the goal to Heavier myself if I was the match official, but nevertheless, Severo. Oof. It's, it's all a bit, uh. What's the word I'm looking for? A bit, a bit, a bit of a rabble at the goal mouth, it seems. E Rice has picked the ball up again after clearance. Severo, he's on the ball. Severo hasn't shot as much recently. Quite used to quite enjoy Severo's long shots. That wasn't a bad effort though. Good save from the keeper. Going into the half time at 1 0 to ourselves. Not too bad at all. Keep going. Yeah, I'm pleased with how things are going out there. Ex Calderon's not playing great, but he reacted well. I'm going to keep him on because it is the first time he started. Show me why you should be in the team. Again, show me why you should be in the team. Okay, tactics. Um, hmm, I know it's a friendly, so I should change something, but I don't really want to. I'm kind of content leaving it as is. Yeah, let's just let's just leave it. I don't want to mix things up too much. I prefer us to at least get another goal under our belt. Patina. Camille picked it up. That's fine. Bit of a wayward ball there from Patina. JN have got a free kick. Camille nearly got booked. Joel has come on to replace him. He's left Ellie on the bench. <gasps> was that? I didn't even see if that was Sosa. I think that was Sosaita that took that. Not a bad effort. Starting to redeem yourself there. Gondra Krug. What a. I might just sign him just for his name. So I can just say that every single game. Gondra Krug. Okay, it's my hero. Erko Arroyo. These guys really do have the uh, best man. good catch from Esteban. It was an ambitious effort from uh, Jayen. Esteban's cleared it straight up. e has picked it up, played it forward to Heavier. Heavier back to Cal Calderon. Severo. Salvador. Salvador. Oh. Couldn't tell what was happening there. Didn't hit the back of the net, unfortunately. Camille with the throw into Severo. Camille with the cross. No. What? I need to check what Camille's crossing's like. I might need to uh, play him a bit more forward in the future. With uh, maybe a support or an attacking rather than a defensive role. Because I think he's on defensive, although I might be mistaken. Salvador. He's whipped the ball across. Severo's there. Oh. Oh my god. Severo's finishing is not up to scratch. He's coming off for Omoigui. Om Om Omoigui. <laughs> Again. And Omoigui, I think he plays best as an advanced forward, doesn't he? Oh, let's just double check that. I need to get used to remembering. Yeah, that's not too bad. I need to get used to remembering uh, where everyone plays again. Sasaid is not playing great, but I don't have anyone else to play at right mid. That's a problem. Hmm. Definitely a problem. Calderon can come off now. For Oscar Rubio. He is our final signing that we haven't actually played yet. So let's see Oscar Rubio. Fairly well rounded. I mean I already knew that because I did sign him. Checking Camille's crossing. Crossing's 11. Give him an instruction to cross a bit more. Cross more often. Cross from byline. Yeah, cross more often, and I would put aim for target man if Severo was playing, but he's not, so I'll leave it at that. Let's keep going then. Salvador's not playing amazingly, but I don't want to take him off. I want him to redeem himself. Hmm. 20 minutes to go. E Rice has been booked. Like probably his like hundredth booking over the past season. Gets booked every single game for that guy. But he's a hard worker and he plays fantastically, so I don't mind. Esteban's picked that up. Didn't well didn't pick it up, he just hoofed it instead. There's Via on the ball. Get stuck in good challenge from Rubio there. He's picked up the ball. First touch of the game, played the forward to Heavier. Heavier's played it back to Sene, who's Gone for an ambitious ball, but it's got, been picked up by Gaetan. And Arroyo's put it over. 
a strained ball has gone off the pitch. So, still only 1 0. I would have expected a little bit more. I don't even know what league these guys are in, to be honest. I think they're just the league below, but. Maybe wrong. Sene put it back to McCarthy. Rubio played it to E Rice. To heavier. Can we get a last ditch goal? Susaita played it to E Rice. Back to Rubio. To Susaita. To heavier. We're looking to break the defence. Susaita with the cross. Heavier's picked it up. I want Heavier to have a bash. I don't know what his shooting's like. Ah, it's been picked up by De La Calzada. Wait, have they, did they sub their keeper? I think they did. Preseason or not, we can be proud of that result. Okay. Really? Really? I didn't think... What, were they favourites? Like... We shut them down? I want to see... They had that one down as a draw. JN, let's click on... Uh, where can I... Click on them. There. Yeah, they're in the league below. Well, they're in the tier below. They're in B4. The league. That's a little bit weird. Where was that going? Marcos Gondra Krug. What a guy. He's not even that bad either. I'm going to scout him. Might be interested. Probably not, seeing as though he is another defensive midfielder. But nonetheless, let's hit continue. I shall be back with you guys just before we play our final preseason match against Bilbao Athletic. For some reason, this preseason only has got four games, whereas. Last preseason had about 20, but nonetheless, I'll be back with you guys just before we play Bilbao Athletic. Okay, guys, we're back just before the game against Bilbao Athletic. Uh, yeah, so we'll just jump straight into the lineup we're going to be running with today. I've decided to try today our 4 1 2 1 2 formation. I want to see how Severo and Omboigui do together up front, basically. I just want to see how their partnership goes. Decided to give Novo a run out as well because he's got some f fantastic potential and we haven't really harnessed that just yet. Got Sene and Sosaita uh, back in centre midfield, on but in defensive mid. And then a back four of Calderon, McCarthy, Vila, and Camille with Esteban in goal. We are going to be rolling with the attacking mentality, and there are our instructions that drop deeper, obviously, in regards to the pitch report of uh, the pitch being long, so if we push up too far, there will be room behind us. I've decided to retract what I said about David Fernandez. going to try and keep David Fernandez, and instead I'm going to try and sell Nacho Lopez instead. We're incredibly stacked at fullback, and I'm still going to try and get rid of San Julian as well, but I'm going to try and lose at Nacho Lopez because he's not incredibly good, and I just figured that would probably be our best option at this stage. Let's just roll with that, that's fine. We are the favourites, encourage the team to push on. Uh, chance to impress me and win yourself a place inside for a competitive match and show me why you should be in the team. No one's really reacting to this, unfortunately. Just McCarthy and Camille. It's better than nobody, though, so let's jump in. It's not like I could have changed their reactions anyhow. Camille, they're closing in on what I thought was Oreo, but it's actually Otio. They've got an early goal. I was about to say an early corner, but no, they've got an early goal from Martin Bengoa. And Sequin. Or Sequin, as it actually says. Okay. We've got a corner now. Can we make it 1 1? Sene's backtracking to pick it up. He's played it to Calderon. Played it to. Yes, we can make it 1 1. Eight minutes, 1 all. It's alright, it's not too bad. Fantastic goal from Omoigui. If he continues playing well, I'm so signing him at the end of the season. I lost out on the two guys we had on loan last season. Heights and... Oh, good God. Come on, Esteban. Esteban? No. Not sure who whose mistake was that. I want to watch the replay there. If it shows the kick out. It didn't. It might have been Vila's mistake. I think it was Vila's mistake. I'm not going to take him off now. Might do it at half time though, which is in a minute. Camille with the throw and he's played it to Omoigui. Camille, I told him to cross more, but he still didn't cross there. So say to Severo. <sighs> he's put it wide. Gutted. They've got a free kick. It's gone straight to us anyway. Camille, come on, just run with it. Run with it. Just beat your man. Okay, don't. Sene. 
back to Sasaita to Omeligui. Oh, he's just put it past the post. Got it. Okay, that is half time, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, it won't do. Do we even want to win this match? Come on, guys. Who do I take off? Is now the question. Vila, his mistake was pretty bad. He's coming straight off. Camille's not playing well. So Bautista can come on. I'll make all the changes I need to, seeing as though we are, uh, like I said, just in a preseason friendly. Uh, McCarthy's going to stay on. I don't have anyone to actually bring on for him anyhow. Onbert is going to come off for Generilo this time. Mm, Sene's going to come off for Font. Novo's going to come off for Ardenaz. And I'm not going to change the strikers. Let's see how this goes. Ardenas, does he play or... Yeah, he doesn't play badly as an advanced playmaker. That's fine. I know. I think Font is... He's not too bad there. Maybe just support might be a bit better. His mark, no, his marking is so awful though. Okay, yeah. Shoot less often. Cross more often. Run wide. Yeah, he's definitely got the right uh, instructions there. Okay. Let's try this. Let's keep it on attacking though. Instructions. More direct passing. And uh, keep it like that. I don't know, I've played it to Saita. McCarthy's hoofed it forward to Severo. Played it to Omoigui. Can he get a goal straight off the bat? No. Been challenged by Bill Bilbao. Bilbao, the player, not the team. Saita. Oh, just past the post. That guy. Again, really cannot pronounce some of these names. Bit of a soft ball there, but that's fine. Esteban's gathered it up. Generilo's injured. Oh no. Okay, E Rice is coming on then instead. Oh, we've really exhausted our defensive mid options this game. Not to worry though. Hopefully that's nothing serious for Generilo. It wasn't anything serious for Heavier when he got uh, injured in the first four minutes of his f debut. Hopefully it's the same for Generilo. Approaching the hour mark now. Sergio to Sosaita. He's played it's a font. Back to Ardenas. He's holding on to the ball to Sosaita. Played it to Omoigui. Past the post again. Good grief. What more can I do? Getting quite late on in the game now. Esteban with the uh, Neuer-esque free kick there. He's very far forward. No, don't do it to me. Don't do it. To oh my god. He hit the post. Holy crap. I thought that was in. I was pretty sure that was in, but thank god it wasn't. Refused, re refused to lose. Overload. Pump ball into box. Float the crosses. Do you drop deeper? Be more expressive, take more risks. Just have a quick look at our tactics as well. Sergio is injured, but I can't I've got no one to bring on for him, so I can't do anything about that. Uh hmm. I'm considering <laughs> No, I'm not. I can't do that. I was considering bringing off McCarthy for someone more attacking, but no, I won't risk that. Let's roll with very fluid. And let's just push Fun forward a little bit and place to say to just there instead. Change Font to attacking midfielder attack, but shoot less often. Pass it. But there's not just a pass it more, is there? Uh, hmm. Move into channels room. Move into channels sounds quite good, actually. And then. Yeah. Pass it more. Well, his passing's fairly good, so yeah, okay. Let's hope this can uh, do the trick for the last. Seven or so minutes. I haven't even played. There we go. 85th minute. Come on, guys. We can do this. 89th minute. 90th minute. And they've got the advantage. 
Good head out. Arden has on the ball. Ambitious pass. Rubio's gathered it up. We've got two and a half minutes to go. Rubio's just played it forward to Severo. He's been brought down. That's got to be a red. Severo was through. I know it was on the wing, but he was through then. It's got to be a sending off. A yellow? Wow. Okay. I know there's only two minutes or so left, but I really thought that would have been a sending off. That was an awful free kick. Don't, don't let him through. I think that's McCarthy. Don't let him through. That's Sergio. Never mind. Esteban's gathered it. One and a half minutes left. Just go. Just get stuck in. Come on, guys. Where is your passion, Lance? Do you even want to win this match? 30 seconds. 25 seconds left. They're all over us. Ah, no. Ah, there we go. I think that's most likely full time. It will be, yeah, full time. We concede to Bilbao Athletic. That wasn't good enough. It really wasn't. Especially since we dominated the, well, didn't dominate, but we had the advantage stats-wise. Yeah, and the, we were predicted to win by quite a large margin. Oh well. well I suppose we can uh, take solace in the fact that AC Milan drew with Guangzhou. And Spal beat Parma 4 Who on earth are Spal? So Parma lost 4 1 to a team in the Italian Serie C. So, yeah, I suppose we can take solace in that. But nevertheless, that's going to be the end of this episode. Not happy with seeing that red circle there. I was hoping we wouldn't get any of those pre-season, but nevertheless, next episode we are going to jump straight in with the start of the season against Lugo and Real Zaragoza, which is going to be interesting to see how that goes. There is obviously how the table currently looks. Hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to see the rest of the episodes in this series, and I hope you guys have a good rest of the day. Bye-bye for now. Well, we go to the chest. Might end up using... Oh no. Sorry. Stop me going with my commentary because, ow, I'm just uh, thinking, getting confused between the run I did just have, where I got nine lives, and I was thinking, oh yeah, we're actually going to have ten attempts at this, because I had nine lives and eternal collar, but, uh, guppy's collar even, not eternal collar, um, but actually, no, I am incredibly incorrect with that assumption. Okay, we don't, okay, even if we do come second, we've got to do this without taking too much damage.